Wait, normal temperature is 8, and we're going to be above that. How much above that? All that coming up in a few minutes. Lisa. Thank you, Steve. Well, when you think of robots and what the future might hold, it'd be nice to think of the Jetsons. They had flying cars and a robot cleaning lady. And while that may still be far off from our future, having robots in our daily life is not. And today, some students show off their robotic inventions at the Ontario Science Center. And Sean Cowan got to report on how one day they could be our reality. Meet Simbot Steve. He can roll, turn, and pick things up. This robot was created and built by students at Governor Simcoe Secondary School in St. Catharines. We have a six-wheel drivetrain that is controlled by uh, one person on a like PlayStation-like controller. Um, we have we have also have another driver who also uses a uh, PlayStation-like controller who drives the elevator up and down and the uh, roller claw. Simbot Steve is one of many robots being shown off at the Ontario Science Centre. This Mars rover prototype is another. It's created by space engineering students at York University. I can control it from my iPhone, so I can move the uh, arm up and down. Side to side. I can rotate the uh, gripper. The goal is to one day use the technology developed by York students in space. But here's something a little closer to home. Check out this 3D printer. It can be used to produce tools and small gadgets. But for this demonstration, little stars will do. With some of the, the newer, more advanced printers, they're doing it in metal. So if you need a metal part, you can print the metal part. Because all of these robots are school projects, they'll never make it out into the workforce, but the students who design them will. People working on it at York will be working on certain projects like that in the near future. So what can we expect future robots to look like or do? Well, we'll just have to wait. But for now, these projects give us a sneak peek. Sean Cowan, CHCH News. Fun. And now to an historic tour today. For the first time in more than 30 years, visitors got behind the scenes at NASA's Space Center. John Zarella takes us there. These folks are some of the first inside. For more than 30 years, it had been closed to visitors. Took lots of pictures. I did. And some of them I only understand because how do you take a picture of this? How do you take a picture of this ceiling? It's un unbelievable. If you think that's unbelievable... Shuttle orbiter endeavor. For current and future space geeks, this is heaven. A pinch me moment. Endeavor is being housed here.